let's consider the domain and range of this function among different type of questions seen in the exam in domain and range functions to solve this question let's consider some basic rules negative is not allowed inside a square root negative tends a function to infinity which is undefined however zero is allowed inside the square root which is zero zero can be found on the number line but infinity is not a number having done with the analysis next step is solve the expression inside the square root and because zero is allowed inside the square root we are going to equate this expression to zero you can see we got minus two if s becomes minus two for the domain what will be the range When the domain is minus 2, the range will become 0. Considering the number line, we have accepted minus 2 into the function because we got an answer which was 0. Let's see if we can try the negative part towards infinity. That is, we are going to try minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and some values towards this direction minus 3 as the domain tends to infinity minus 4 as the domain equally tends to infinity you can see that a movement towards this direction is a problem hence our least value will become minus 2 let's try values towards this direction let's try minus 1 0 1 and other values you can see going the opposite direction for domain started the generating range hence this direction is closed and we are going to go towards this direction and we represent our answer as domain and range when the domain was minus 2 the range was 0 that is this is the domain and this is the range however when the domain starts going towards infinity the range will equally start going towards infinity and infinity is always open minus 2 being our least value was inclusive in the function and when we got minus 2 our least range was 0 this is our answer another way we can write this is all real number greater than or equal to minus 2 for the domain and for the range we can rewrite it as all real numbers greater than or equal to zero this is the inequalities notation and this is the interval notation both are correct in these options the interval notations was used d is our answer in a option a this is not allowed in mathematics and for option c beware no negative was included option b excludes minus two but minus two was inclusive which gave us zero the final answer c remains d you can check out other types of questions in domain and range and other topics in function in precalculus. You can access and locate other videos by following the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.